Channel 6 News Live at 5 continues with today's Family HealthCast. Half of the people diagnosed with cancer today receive radiation therapy. Many of them will experience stubborn, sometimes painful side effects. Until recently, there wasn't much that could be done to help. Cerise Cole tells us how oxygen therapy has changed that in today's Health Check Report. Man, I was a sick dog. I thought I was going to pass away, but the good Lord said, nope, this isn't your time. Alan Gisler survived prostate cancer, but like so many patients, his treatment created more problems. It's very effective in treating cancer, but long term, years down the road, sometimes radiation will also uh, decrease the blood supply to the tissues that were exposed to radiation. For Gisler, that meant skin in the area treated by radiation was literally dying and couldn't heal. Dr. Ansar Khan believed this would help. It's called the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Doctors say it is the only known way to reverse the negative effects of radiation therapy. The individual is in a pure oxygen environment, under pressure, and it literally forces oxygen into the body tissues and saturates it uh, with oxygen. The hyperbaric oxygen stimulates the growth of brand new small blood vessels that then lay down the building blocks for healing and healing occurs. Most patients who have this treatment have it 30 to 40 times, 90 minutes each session. Once inside, they can rest, watch TV, then let the oxygen do the rest. You don't think anything's happening, but over time, uh, all those areas that were really bad on me start to heal. A pain-free solution to a problem he wasn't sure would ever be solved. With photographer Mike Plews, Cerise Cole, Channel 6 News. Dr. Khan says out of his 14 patients who had bleeding in their bladder due to radiation therapy, all 14 had positive results after hyperbaric oxygen therapy. The treatment can also help heal surgical wounds and stubborn ulcers caused by diabetes.